Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we have Tarzan the Hermit Crab with us. As you can see, we're going to be putting him back. I just want to see. You can see he's doing great. You can see right there. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about why I do not recommend hermit crabs as beginner pets or don't recommend them in general, however you decide to take this video. But if you're new here, um, if you do like today's video, make sure at the end or now you just go down to the bottom, hit that subscribe button, we're on our way to 250 subs. Then after that, it's 300. So make sure you're already subscribed. If you're new here, make sure you smash that like button. Leave a comment if you guys did like today's video. Okay guys, so the first point I just wanted to make about keeping hermit crabs is as Tarzan just chills their back. We're in the hermit crab tank, if you guys didn't know, this is like um, where I have my gaming setup and then the hermit crab tank is in the spare room. Um, if you're new here, I will link a video where I set this hermit crab tank up up here. It originally was going to be in an old tank, but I ended up making it into a hermit crab tank. So there is a lot of echo in this room. I'm sorry, I just want to film in the hermit crab room because I thought that would be a little bit cooler so you guys can see the hermit crab behind me. So in today's video, like I said, we're going to be talking about why hermit crabs do not make beginner pets. And just the number one reason off the bat is they're all wild caught. Now, wild caught is not too huge of an issue, but when every single hermit crab is wild caught 99.9% .9 of the time, they can carry things like parasites. I'll put up a list of parasites on the screen. Like I think it's mites. Uh, they can carry just a bunch of bad parasites, and that can make them die soon, which is just not a good thing. Um, the reason I got these hermit crabs, by the way, is these guys were rescues, so I did not take them from the wild. They were not wild caught. They were rescues. I'll link that video up here. Yeah, but they were rescues. So they were not, they were caught from the wild, but then I rescued them off of my sister's friend who just didn't, couldn't take care of them anymore. Um, I rescued Tarzan off of her friend and then raised Blaze and Block Rocky, which are my other two, I actually bought at a pet store because Tarzan needs a friend. So they were all wild caught because that's how hermit crabs are and what they do is they take them from the wild and they smash their shell and and then they make them they glue them together in a painted shell um so it kind of reminds me of like when you crack open like a clam or a lobster or something you know how like the shell cracks like that that's exactly what they do to the hermit crabs with their shell alive they just take this thing and they smash their shell open and then they take the hermit crab out, throw them in a painted shell, and glue them in there. Now that painted shell is also very toxic for them. It can cause a lot of problems, believe it or not, like a lot, a lot of problems. It can cause, what can happen is the paint can make them get sick, which can cause them to obviously die or perish or just be in pain, because what they'll do is they'll pick at the paint, because they like to do that just with any shells. They'll pick at it just to like make it more suitable for them, if that makes any sense. Um, so yeah, they'll pick at the shell a lot, and they might ingest that paint. So the first issue, like we just discussed, was being wild caught. Now moving on to the second thing why I don't think hermit crabs make good pets is because their diet is actually pretty hard. You have to feed them fruits, veggies, since they are an omnivore, fruits, veggies, and protein, obviously. So this diet can range from as little as just a little bit of bloodworms, like bloodworms, the fish food, um, to something such as like strawberries, um, to something literally just as easy as this little like fish food that they'll eat once in a while. But, it, and also you have to make their salt water up. Um, as you can see in my hermit crab tank, I have a salt water dish and a fresh water dish. They need two water dishes. So their food is just very hard. And their food is just very hard because you need to get a lot of fruits, veggies, and all that stuff. Now, if you can if you can handle them being wild caught and risking some die, and if you can handle their food like that, then maybe you should consider, but not before we finish all the rest of the reasons. There's five reasons, by the way. So number three, this is a really big one for me, is they need high, high humidity. So if you live in a place where you can't be giving these guys 75, 65 humidity plus 75 degrees temperature, uh, this is all in Fahrenheit, by the way, that is pretty hard. So I think 75 degrees, I'll put Celsius up on the screen, but that is 
high temperature, so you're going to need a heat mat or a heat pad or above tank heating, just some heating source. And then you're also going to need to keep that humidity up while using a humidity source. So you're going to need a lot of moss, a lot, a lot of moss. You're going to need deep, deep substrate, and you're going to need to mist that thing almost every day, twice a day sometimes. So, and if the humidity dries out, they will die. So that's another hard thing. And if you live in like, like here in this room where it's like 20% humidity, I got to mist this thing a lot. You might have to put saran wrap on top, something like that, just stuff prevent the humidity from escaping, so that's hard. And and the number fourth reason why I don't recommend hermit crabs, sorry guys, my light. And the number fourth reason why I don't recommend hermit crabs is just because they're not really handleable. Now you saw I did hold Tajin just for a little bit really quick, but they're not recommended to be handling. Excessive handling can actually cause them to be stressed out. And they do have a claw. I mean, they, they can pinch, pinch you if you want, and that pinch can hurt a lot. It goes like, you just go, and they don't like cow either a lot. Um, so that claw hurts a decent amount. They only pinch when defense is uh, uh, defense, obviously. They're not gonna go out of the way to pinch you. So I wouldn't recommend handling them in the first place. And number five, they're just boring to me, okay? Listen, I'm I'm used to like animals such as my crested gecko, who by the way, update coming on my crested gecko coco, uh, finally lets me handle them. Um, I, there'll be a whole video on that, so just stay tuned. Um, I'm used to crested geckos, um, leopard geckos. I'm used to even using dealing with a bunch of really defensive animals such as my female common snapping turtle crush. So, but these animals, they're just boring. Like I don't see them out a lot at all. Like the only time they're active is at night and all my other animals are crepuscular. So I see them at dusk and dawn, except my turtle who is obviously out during the day. So he's like a human which I forget the name of, I'll pop it up on the screen. But these guys are fully nocturnal, so you never see them out in the day unless they're just like Tarzan right here sitting in the moss, but they're not really doing anything. Um, so that's just one of all five of my reasons why I think hermit crabs don't really make good beginner pets or pets in general. But if you do want to get a hermit crab, please don't buy one from a store. Remember, adopt, don't shop, especially with hermit crabs that are all wild caught. Um, so please definitely just don't get one from store just get one off of craigslist they're everywhere on there facebook marketplace everywhere in there so definitely get one off of there now i'm gonna go feed these guys and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one make sure you research sorry it was kind of a short video hope you guys did go on to enjoy today's video sorry i've been busy really quick i just like uh, busy lately i did an interview for high school and all that stuff so yeah i just been really busy but thank you guys for watching another one of my videos and maybe next time I'll come on here, we'll be doing a 50, 250 sub Q&A. So if, comment down some questions. And then when we hit 250 subs, we'll be doing a Q&A. So comment down some questions. And I'll see you guys on another one. Make sure you research. And I'm out. Peace.